say this, under the Lethway rule set, if you're curious why there were so many draws, I believe it is finish only in Lethway, correct? Yes, essentially. If you get knocked out, they will wake you up as many times as you want to keep going. And basically a draw is either the rounds have ended or people just want to go home. Oh, oh, I, I thought it was because they were pussies. Yo, Tina. Oh, thank round you for clearing one. that up. Here we go, round one. Blue draws corner. do seem like they're An Canadian. Andrew right? Capurro in the blue like corner. Americans don't believe in draws. No. Saw Andrew who? with the um, songbird the on the chest. Big connection with that left hook right there, Luke. Yep, and Andrew does hold a number of Muay Thai belts. I believe he had his first let way bout about a month ago. So he's new to this discipline, but he is a badass. And I want to make the mention of no shin guards. This is shin to shin. This is pro combat in so many different disciplines. I mean, boy, my teeth are shaking right now, Ted. And as I said earlier, when they were walking out, he is going to keep that distance, isn't he, Caparo? He's not going to want to get inside, not yet at least. Pick him apart from the outside. Use that small reach that you have, that length that you have. And then, of course, stay away from those deadly headbutts. And you talk about the Southpaw versus Orthodox matchup. We see there are so many open stance strikes available to both guys, Luke. Yeah, no, and this is a very competitive region with their local mixed martial arts. So you got Letway, which kind of represents Myanmar, Burma. We're here in Thailand, where Muay Thai is ooh, our, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's the most popular of the local regional martial arts. You've got Kun Khmer, we have some Cambodian fighters here. So these aren't guys who necessarily, like, we've got one native Let's, Letway fighter in there, and Caparo trying to figure it out. So this is like a real interesting matchup. That left, there it is. I was right about to say it. That left from Caparo. He is going to just go into that bag. Oh, and now he switches yes. it up with the left up top. And there it is. Goes back to what works for him. He's really putting a pounding on that right hand. And think about and the, the volume. I mean, he's really not giving the opponent a second to think. And lands the left hook. Ted, I know you love it. Golly, man. It's, if it's not the left leg, it's the left hook it's the left right uh, straight coming there you go top. and this is what he wanted this is what he needs to be worried about yeah and that's what his opponent needs to do Capuro is comfortable until the head butts exactly muay thai is the art of eight limbs that way is the art of nine with bare knuckles this is a savage sport and Capuro's getting a real introduction tonight so, uh, Capuro is so technical and saw right now he's just making it dirty as he should great elbow over the top there from Capuro but saw needs to make it dirty he needs to make it a dog fight he needs to draw him into deep waters and see if he can swim conventional combat is not working for saw Ong. Yeah, like I agree he needs to swim in it but Capuro so composed I mean the traditional combos Luke they're winning for him yeah, and again, like we've seen Capuro in the circus before. He's not above punching a lady. He's not above punching a lady. So think about how uncorked he is right now against Saul. And there he is. Saul needs to get it. There's that headbutt. And look, how smart is that? Grab him when he gets in close. Wait for Tommy Hayden to separate it. Watch how intelligent Capuro is with his distance. He knows exactly when to strike. He knows exactly when to get out. See? He, he can get hit, he can hit and not get hit. These launching sort of Superman headbutts, I feel like need their own name. What do we call them? Star Lord or something? It's not Superman. Headbutt would be dumb, but I mean, off the bat. What an amazing first round. I think both guys know where their areas of success lie. You see for Sa Ong, it's the headbutts, it's in close, it's mixing it up, it's being left way. But for Andrew Caporo, it's the distance, it's that left high kick that has neutralized so much of what Sa wants to do, Ted. It's not just that left high kick, it's also that left straight right okay. down the line where it's like now Sa's guessing. Where is it coming? Which one is it coming from? Where is it coming Since from? Since Fight Circus is the greatest thing to bet money on, I want to bet now. Does anyone want to take this? Does Caparo throw a headbutt? I'm saying yes, he throws a headbutt before the fight is over. I'm taking Andrew Caparo. I've got 20 bot. I've got 20 bot on it. Five You're going to say he doesn't throw seconds. a headbutt? All right. All right, I'll seconds say he out. doesn't throw a headbutt. So you, need more to say. you and I, are, we're, we're doesn't. I don't think he does. I don't think he does Okay, either. I'm basically the house. I'm betting against both Teddy and Ben here in the booth that Andrew Caparo, new to Letway, will throw a headbutt tonight. He's, right. he's eaten six or seven already, but he has yet to throw one in return, and he's a Muay Thai practitioner It doesn't art. seem he wants to. I, I just don't think it's in his best interest either. Stay Round with two, what you're doing. Song. Get the win. Notch it on your belt and then get better, go back and get better. No need to get flashy. Especially when you're new to Lethway, adding in the headbutts, that can be more detrimental to you than the opponent. 
And World Lightweight Championships have been closed down since uh, they had some strife. So it's good to see it coming back alive here in Thailand. It's and great. big, big shout out to Dave LaDuke. He is retiring, I believe, next month or the month after the King of Lethway. We, uh, we would like to disavow those statements from Ben. Uh, we're here in the kingdom. Uh, uh, he's repulsive. <laughs> yeah, fuck Dave LaDuke. <laughs> he is an absolute savage, yes, but he says some wild shit. Dave does have weird opinions, but in the square, he's good. He's mean with it. Big kick by Capuro. Ted, what are you saying? Ooh, I'm seeing a big spinning back elbow that landed, and I'm seeing so make it dirty. And he's going for the kill. Capuro, come on, Luke. Wow. He's on the ropes, literally and figuratively on the ropes. Yeah, wow, good turn there. Great turn. And again, this is a native native lightweight fighter versus Capero from the States in, I believe, his second lightweight fight to date. So, but, but an experienced fighter Ooh. nonetheless. Oh, he's an unbelievable striker. Big shot right there. You can see the uh, oh, oh. sort of contest, contention. Was that eye poke? I don't think it was. Is that illegal yeah, oh, in lightweight? I thought it was legal. <laughs> I know. Eye poke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like he may have been. We'll take, we'll take a moment. We'll take some time to clear that out for him. Safety first is the motto of Fight Circus. Remember, Everybody folks, knows that. these guys have no gloves on, by that the is, way. Isn't that insane? That is that bananas. Is. So it's bare knuckle with Muay Thai and headbutts. That is nuts. And especially with a break in the action, Luke, both guys are getting a rest. Andrew Caporo is getting some time to recover. Yeah, and I hope he takes some yeah, time to work out a strategy because uh, he's he leads slightly and then he gets kind of berserkered. And that is Letway. That, like, literally, that's what wins the judges. That's what's wins the... I mean, they, they, very rarely do they go to the judges. But like, New word, folks. Berserker. Ladies and gentlemen, Luke, give a round of applause right? for a man from the I love that. What? Give a round of applause for that man. He says, let's go, let's fight. I don't give a shit. And I got to say this. I, I love the respect from Andrew Kapura. I mean, this is such a you know, combat sports where yes. love and respect is the name of the game. Ted, you're seeing some action though. Oh my God. He's trying to step, Kabur's trying to step to his right and then throw that left now with a little bit more power, kind of like a Dutch kick, if you will. But Saw is reading it and making it a dirty fight. Great, great defense there from Saw. And this is where he needs to go. Attack, continue. Saw takes the pedal off the metal. Luke, I don't agree with that. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be, because we are here in the kingdom, it's not going to be a traditional lightweight result. Like, we, we're going to end this fight after the, the rounds are over. And sure, we'll, we might have a draw. We might even choose a winner. You know how we do. Saw's pun <laughs> so this might affect the prize he gets. He might Saw's have to go home with a large bag of weed. Saw's punishing that body. If Capuro drops those hands, watch a headbutt come over the top. There he is. He's oh! him up. Big left from Capuro. Fastball from Capuro. He's really trying to find a home for that. Both of them are swinging haymakers trying to end this. I love the traditional approach that Andrew Kapoor is bringing, but Saw Ong is... Oh, a headbutt from Andrew Kapoor, I'm calling it. I mean, we're going to need to see a replay. We don't have a monitor because it's a bit of a janky accident. Oh, I'm I sorry. I was looking at I Luke. Know. I didn't, hey, Ted, oh, did I you see that? Oh, well, no accidental headbutt. I didn't know we were counting that. Ted, I don't know if I saw that one. Try not to look at me, guys. Ten seconds. Jen with that left. Scores high in the eyes of the judges. Big now, reaction from Saw, though. I love the timing now that he's got. Go, make it! Yes! Jump in! End of round two. Mungo P. Saw. You see one, you see two from Saw when he gets in close. I know it's easy to say that from here, but I'd like to see three and four from Saw when he gets in close. It's the extended combos from that red corner that I think I need, especially when we're in this third and final round. Luke, you got to be definitive if you're Saw Ong. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to see a, a knockout here because I'm not sure how we're going to score it. Again, we're in the kingdom. <laughs> Are we going to choose a winner if, the, if there's no knockout? John, what are we going to do? Okay, okay. Okay, so we are going, we are per going. Per the Lethway rules. Yeah. Per the CEO, we are going real Lethway rules. If there's no knockout at the end of this round, I believe, we are going to call it a draw because this is a sport for men, not pussies. And this is one thing that I really love about Lethway. <laughs> uh, this is one thing I love about Fight Circus, by the way, <laughs> is we do the silly fights and then we have absolute warriors on Absolutely. sanctioned fights, whether it's MMA, whether it's Lethway, coming in here Seconds and just giving the it their all. This, Seconds another out. 
just absolute banger. There are two women who deserve a shout out here. The very first Fight Circus My show. My mom, Charlene. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Oh, okay. My mom, Ben's mom. Hi, Hi Charlene. Moms around the world, you all deserve But the first Fight Circus, the second fight was female Letway, which is almost no. never, never done. Well, and they really, no, no they, they went the distance, blood everywhere, people were crying, it was madness. Third, and they put us on the map. Third and final round, Capurro. I want to talk corner, about. Saw, red corner. Apologies, Go. Ted. Go the ahead. athleticism of Andrew Caporo. Look at the back. I mean, look at the muscles. This guy's very conditioned for this performance here. I take in a man's body, and I've been <laughs> drinking his body this entire fight. It's good to see him fighting a man for a change, though, because he's only been in the circus uh, against Nong Rose, and he, who he yes. did take down pretty, pretty easily. Yeah, he handily yeah. won that fight. Oh, he takes down chicks. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh. Nice lean back right there. And this... He tried Saw to... Ong has to make this dirty, Luke. That's my prediction for round three. Beautiful. They both have the same idea there with the lefts. Didn't work out. Nice to the body. Back up top. Oh, and he heard him. Down. He heard him. That's the liver shot. You he don't was, want to take. He was depositing it into the bank, and he's finally getting dividends paid back. Oh! Oh! oh, and a oh, oh keep oh, going. From Saw Ong. Go. Kapoorla. Kapoorla. Will he survive this round? Will he survive to get himself a draw here against an absolute legend? He's up, but he's hurt, Ted. I think he's up in the. I think he's up on the cards. Can Saw put him away? You know he smells blood. The entire fight circus fan base smells blood. Saw Ong is putting it on here in round three. Oh, elbow kill him! That's a body language. He's down again, Luke. That's two knockdowns, several headbutts. We're, it, it, we may or may. Oh, okay. Letway. Letway, everybody. Capurro can't do it. Yeah, Capurro can't done. do it. I think Andrew's yep. done. Interesting. This gone. is very interesting. If he wants to go on, no headbutt, if sir. he wants to go on, there's probably only about 30 seconds left no, around. It's over. We're calling it's it. Over. Okay. Yeah. Give it to okay. Saw. Wow. Yeah. Saw. What a comeback for Saw yeah. on yeah. Ted. Because he did what we said he needed to do. He had to get dirty. He had to get violent. And also, not one and two, three and four. Guys, another round of applause for what is definitely the most vicious combat sport on the planet, and it happens here at Fight Circus. They went three three-minute rounds of WLC Letway action. And after part of the third round, we do have a stoppage. Referee has called a stoppage to this round for your winner, hailing from Myanmar, Saw Tu Ong. <laughs>